Hello there! Welcome to Let's Play Arcanum. With me, Duke, and Virgil. And we are currently, last time we went to, to the Back to the Blimp site, uh, crash site I mean. Uh, and we are about to head back. We found some dead guy who was not completely dead. And he told us that he was cursed and we needed to kill a witch uh, in his name. And that is... she lives in some place I've forgotten. Maybe I should look at the map. The world map even. There we go. Small mining town. So these are the markers that we have. I don't know if I can zoom in at all. This is really, really small at the moment at least. I would like to, like to, sort of, have a look around, but that's 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 as good as I can get it. So there we go. Anyway, uh, there's also a dying feudal kingdom over there, which is where someone's sister lived. But anyway, our problem at the moment is the river, which we're about to cross, and I think oh, it's conveniently night time. Even in fact, I should have used the map to traveled, shouldn't I? Oh, there we go. This is much better. Dernholm, capital of Cr Cumbria. Uh, a dying feudal kingdom. It's a Crumblia. Uh, and there is Tavand, the most industrial city in in the world. Now then. Wait a minute. What the hell is that? Ooh, that is the place we're going to. We'll kill, a, kill ourselves a witch. We'll suffer no witch to live. We'll travel over there. And it's morning, isn't it? What a wonderful morning. There's graves and stuff. A merry welcome. Anyway, let's read this. This headstone is exquisitely carved with the message. Jamila. Beloved wife and mother. Okay. And who are you? You must be the father. No, you're the son. I see. Save, beloved son. Right. I should probably save, but why bother? <laughs> you didn't you didn't trust in my abilities? See there's a half elf priest. Oh yeah, it was a priest, not a witch. My mistake. Oof, blood. Right, let's go and have a chat with this fellow. Blessed be, who might you be? This wise and old priest seems to be in some pain. I'm Abrala, or Arbala, or whatever, Babala. And you are? I am your executioner. <laughs> no, I'm Duke, actually. Well, Duke, what brings you to my humble farm? I've been sent here by Brego, spirit. Hmm. I don't know, which should I say first? Maybe I should just ask him questions for now. My family was brutally slaughtered by two men, Brego and Farkas. I believe their names were. I was left for dead. I welcomed them into my house, offered them sustenance, and they repaid me by killing my wife and children, stealing the only thing I had of value, a sacred religious artifact. I met the spirit of one of, your, one of those killers. One of them is already dead? I shouldn't be surprised. Probably killed by the other, I assume. Pitifully evil people they were. Rego told me a curse made his friend turn on him. No, I believe that was the curse of greed. Their souls will never leave this plane of existence. What, never? That's a bit harsh. That was the only curse I put on them. If I had to guess, Farkas decided. He didn't want to share the ill-gotten gains with anyone. As I said, they were truly evil individuals. Hmm. That was a great story, but I need to kill you now. No, 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 no. We are not, we are not murderers. We may be thieves, but we're not murderers. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you for your kind words. There's something else. 
I need to recover the sacred artifact they stole. It is very important to me. I need to, to pray to my gods effectively. Did Prego say anything? Give any clue as to where it might be? No, he did not. He helped us close to you. I know it is none of your affair, but could you assist me in trying to locate what is rightfully mine? Depends on what it would be worth to you. <laughs> yes, we're, a, we're a bit of a tradesman. I share your sympathy and all, but I have my own problems. I'm afraid I am not one who gathers material possessions about himself. I have nothing to offer you for your help but my gratitude. Hmm. I do not work for free, sir. Good day to you. Uh, I don't know. I suppose helping... Well, it's there's got to be some reward. Either the game rewards you or, n or not. I'm hoping the game rewards you. For being a goodly sort. I suppose helping would you would be the right thing to do. Excellent. Perhaps our friend, the late Mr. Brego, would give some information he could impart to you regarding the location of my sacred possession. I will return when I have received re written receive retrieved your property sir well we have a quest at least we've got something to do now last time I played I was I was sort of getting my doing my own thing what what wolves how dare they attack me have at thee I challenge thee to a duel you lost what about you I suppose it's not a fair duel that's the way to show those bastards, I mean, good hit, sir. I know. Wasn't that a good hit? Anyway, we're only halfway there. Continue. It's night time, isn't it? Yes, it is. Hello, Preston. <laughs> we should probably bury him or something. I'm not very sentimental. Leave bodies to decompose. Right, this is the cave. Let us interrogate a spirit. We can be clever and lie to him that we did the deed, and then he's going to be all pleased with himself and reveal his true nature. Please help me. Anyway. The spirit appears to be in great pain. Please, I beg you, the pain. Hmm. No, that would not work. I uh, need to talk to the friend that killed you. <laughs> the pain. So you spoke with Ar Arbala instead of killing him. Bravo, my friend. I applaud you. Tell me where Farkas is. Why should I tell you that? I will still be here for eternity. Ah, well, that's a good lie. Did you want revenge on your killer? I convinced Arbala to le release him while I actually didn't, so... Is it a good idea to lie to a to a dead thing? Probably not. Let's ask if he wants revenge instead. Why would I care? I would have done the same to him if I had not. If he had not been faster, regardless, I will still be here. Well then, I convinced. Uh, I will convince. Okay, never mind. Well, I can still do that, but apparently that's a lie. You would, wouldn't you? If there is one thing about you noble types, is that you'll do the right thing even if it kills you. Very well. Anything to be released from this pain? Points to a location on your map. Focus is here. Thank you. By the way, I lied. <laughs> you still get to rot here forever. <laughs> that would be so cool. By the way, I lied. <laughs> I still Ah, no, it cannot be the pain, please. I will haunt you. I will curse you, your loved ones. Please release me. Uh, poor guy. Well, he shouldn't have killed those that, that family. It was wrong of him. Now he will he will suffer for it. He didn't so show any remorse for it either. So why should I care? Anyway, where is this map? I need to... Uh, I need to run all the way to the bottom of the map. 
just to find stuff. And what is this? Notes. Uh, I have notes, don't I? I have quests, maybe. We have quests. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I gave up on that one. Uh, da da da. He would not. Um, Right, whatever, I know what's going on. I know what's going on, I didn't need to read all this. What's this place? It's, uh, it looks like some sort of a campfire. Something sort of in in rural, rural? In urban, sort of slums. That's the word. That's the word I was looking for. Anyway. There we go, we've got our globe ready. So wait a minute, Trouded Hills. Ah, oh, there it is. That's where I'm going. Simon Fockers's shack. Ah, oh, wolves again. No, what, what are you? You're kites. You fly around and then you land on me. Try to sn sneak up on people and eat them. <coughs> the wind brought you here. Broth. Brought. <coughs> Yay, it's a good thing we have a healer. Otherwise this game would be insanely difficult. Why is it not dying? I'm stabbing him in the back. And he's not, he's not bothered at all. Now he is. <coughs> Found the soft spot. It's in the spine. There we go. I probably loot these. I didn't loot the wolves. Can I loot you? No, 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 no. What did I do? What, what, what did I do? Dynamite? Dynamite? Well, let's hope I didn't <laughs> actually blowing myself up by accident. Anyway, carry on with the journey. So there are random encounters and everything. Now I should probably save. Someone's come out of the, the, the place. The human bandit. He dislikes me. Hmm. Well, he's going to be even more pissed in a moment. Let me just, let me just find the freaking save screen. There we go. You press S to do it. <laughs> That's how you do it. Okay. Let's just save somewhere. And have a chat. Hello. Why are you bothering me? Please excuse my presence, sir. I mean no offense. Speak to me like that again, you will seriously regret it. He's going to turn hostile the moment I say that. I would appreciate you addressing me with respect, sir. Mm. He screams and shields his face with his hands. But please, sir, don't hurt me. I'm sorry for any offense I've given. See, I have a reaction on people. <laughs> Mere words make people cower in before me. Anyway, I'm here for Arbalala. You will return what is his, or you will die. Suddenly, looks very unsure of himself. What? What do you mean? I, I have uh, no idea what you're talking about. Grab him. This is your last warning, you spineless worm. Here, here it is. Please don't hurt me. Ah, huh. thank you. Actually, I think I will kill you simply for the pleasure of it. <laughs> I'm, I'm not a maniac. I will let you live for now. Good day. At least I've got the artifact. If I was asked to slay you, I would. No one asked me to kill you, so I won't. And your shack is pretty empty. You have a fine time in here. What did I, what did I get, actually? Is it worth returning it to him? What is this artifact I've got? Uh, uh, I've got junk! Axe dagger. Mm. Coal. Is it the box? No, it's migraine cure. I have no idea what I got. Supposedly I have it in my inventory somewhere. <laughs> no idea where, but somewhere. What are all these? Oh! Well, that's handy. Thank you. 
Thank you, Sorter Bottom, for sorting my inventory. That is very kind of you. 